हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल माई नेम इज़ अशरफ उनिसा आई वर्क एज अ लेक्चरर एट अहलेबैद जूनियर कॉलेज टिल नाउ वी हैव फिनिश द टॉपिक अप टिल बुक कीपिंग एंड अकाउंटिंग टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद द मोर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज बेसिक अकाउंटिंग कॉन्सेप्ट नो लेट्स डील विद एन अकाउंट वॉट इज एन अकाउंट स्टूडेंट account is an brief history of business transaction it is normally in t shaped t shaped so it has two sides debit side and credit side debit side this is credit side always debit side is on the left side and credit side is on the right side okay got my point my dear students now second basic accounting concept is transaction what is transaction as we all know that there are so many day to day transactions recorded in a book keeping system our second basic concept is transaction transaction is an event that that occurs in a business which changes the financial position of the business transaction is an event and it is recorded in the books of accounts examples of transactions are cash transaction and credit transactions normally there are two types of transactions cash transaction and credit transaction examples of transactions are cash received commission received salaries paid goods purchase goods sold all these are the examples of transactions now my dear students our next basic accounting concept is assets what are assets assets are the properties of the business assets are owned by the proprietor it is the properties example example of assets are furniture machinery cash debtors investments goodwill all these are the examples of assets these are the properties of the business which the business owns now after these assets next comes to liabilities what are liabilities these are the obligations of the business towards other parties means liabilities means business has to pay to others to the companies individuals any other person whichever the amount pay business has to pay is known as liabilities liabilities may be in the form of capital capital creditors and our next basic accounting concept is our drawings students drawings as it is shown by its name only drawings are the withdrawals by the proprietor if a proprietor needs money suppose proprietor's son's education or daughter's marriage is there so he can he is authorized to take or withdraw some of the capital he invests in the business and sometimes he may introduce the new capital also so these are also important in accounting next capital for commerce students while learning accounting capital this term is very important capital is a basic term we have to know what is the meaning of capital capital is the amount of business proprietor with which the business is being started it is actually it is called as a initial amount what it is called as a initial amount with which the business is started by the proprietor capital without capital business is not started it is impossible to start the business first the businessman to earn profit to establish and his business he has to start 
with capital with some initial amount it may be lesser or more but anyhow he has to start the business with capital okay students our next important topic is debtors debtors means such people who borrow money from the business but they are not in a position to repay it on time they take some time after that they can pay so these individuals comes under the category of debtors and debtors are of two types trade trade debtors and general debtors friends our next basic accounting topic is creditor creditor are those persons from them our business has taken loan borrowed money so we have to pay them it is exactly opposite to the debtors we have to pay these creditors like debtors creditors are also of two types trade creditors and general creditors so our next basic accounting concept is purchases what are purchases purchases are the expenses made by the business while buying goods services furniture any other things purchases come under the category of nominal account okay example of purchases are machinery purchased furniture purchased building purchased computer purchased raw material purchased all these purchases comes under two categories one is cash purchases second one is credit purchases cash purchases and credit purchases now our next one is sales so unlike purchases sales sales is the income from the business by selling we can get the income what sometimes we have to sell the furniture sometimes we have to sell the machinery sometimes we have to sell the raw materials sometimes computers and other patents right sold out so these sales are uh, comes under the category of nominal account itself and sales also in the form of cash sales and credit sales so next topic is income income is the difference between revenue and expenses if we deduct expenses from our revenue we will get income what are expenses we incur some losses we have to pay some amount of money to get something like machinery building so we incur expenses and what is revenue if we sold something if we sold something we get revenue we generate revenue so all these are the basic accounting concepts i hope that you have understood the basic accounting concepts which the businessman has to come across while learning the accounting what is an account account is a brief history of recording of business transaction in a book of accounts it has two sides one side is debit side and other side is credit side normally it is in the t shape so our next basic accounting concept is our transaction as we all know that a transaction is an event that occurs in the business and it changes the financial position of the business transactions are of two types one is cash transaction and other one is credit transactions example of transactions are purchases sales commission paid salary paid expenses paid anything received anything paid off is a transaction so got my point our next important basic accounting concept is our capital capital is the money invested by the businessman or proprietor to start a business sometimes he is authorized to take out the capital or in other words we can say that he is authorized to withdraw the capital from the business if he needs for his personal expenses for an example 
डॉक्टर्स मैरिज इज देयर और सन्स एजुकेशन वॉट एवर पर्पज ही कैन विदड्रॉ द कैपिटल एंड समटाइम्स ही कैन ऑल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस न्यू कैपिटल ऑल्सो इन द बिजनेस एंड कैपिटल इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट अकाउंटिंग कॉन्सेप्ट नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट बेसिक अकाउंटिंग कॉन्सेप्ट इज अवर गुडविल गुडविल वॉट इज गुडविल गुडविल मीन्स द गुड नेम ऑफ द कंपनी गुडविल इज द असेट ओके एंड वॉट इज असेट नेचुरली इट इज असेट इज ऑल्सो अ बेसिक अकाउंटिंग कॉन्सेप्ट असेट्स आर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द बिजनेस असेट्स आर द बिलोंगिंग ऑफ द बिजनेस पर्सन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द असेट्स आर बिल्डिंग लैंड फर्नीचर कैश मशीनरी गुड विल पेटेंट्स ऑल दीज आर असेट्स अगेन द असेट्स आर ऑल्सो आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन इज टैंजिबल असेट अनदर वन इज इन टैंजिबल असेट टैंजिबल असेट्स आर दोज विच हैज फिजिकल एग्जिस्टेंस वी कैन टच इट वी कैन मूव इट एग्जाम्पल चेयर कंप्यूटर बिल्डिंग वी कैन टच इट नो Sometimes we can move it. Sometimes we can touch it, but it should have physical ex- existence. Okay, and machinery, furniture, computer, typewriter, telephone, all these are assets. Okay, now tangible assets. What are intangible assets? Intangible assets are which does not possess any physical existence. Example: cap copyrights, patents. These are intangible. assets and of course goodwill goodwill we can't touch it is the good name of the business because of that the businessman earns the money after goodwill the next most important basic accounting concepts is debtor who is a debtor debtor is a person who owes to you who owes to the businessman he has borrowed money from the businessman and he is not in a position and he is not in a situation to pay off the debts and he has taken some time at the end of the financial year or after 2 years after 3 years i am going to pay off these debts the debtors also come under the category of assets okay now after that our next basic accounting concepts are creditors what are creditors creditors are exactly exactly opposite to the debtors Creditors are those person to whom the business has to pay the amount. From whom the business, our business has taken money, borrowed money. Okay, we have to pay them, and we have told them that no, our business is not earning profit in these days. We are suffering losses. Please give us some time after the end of the financial year or. in 3 4 whatever the time is there we are going to repay your debts repay your loan so those persons are our creditors okay and creditors comes under the category of liabilities got my point my dear students now the question arises what are liabilities liabilities are the obligation which the business has to pay to others example capital without capital no businessman is authorized to start the business after that income outstanding salaries capital outstanding salaries outstanding out, outstanding salary outstanding rent outstanding commission whatever the items outstanding are outstanding means business has to pay not now but later on it has to pay it comes under the category of liabilities now after that our next basic accounting concept is our purchases okay see students if we have to run the business anyhow we have to uh, invest money spend money on purchases we have to purchase building we have to purchase land we have to purchase computers machinery everything we have to purchase so purchases are the expenses incurred by the business purchases are of two types cash purchases credit purchases example of the purchases are what we have purchased cash pur- ca- cash we can't purchase remember cash purchases are there cash purchases means we have to pay off the cash for getting that item those are called 
कैश परचेजेस नाउ द क्वेश्चन आर एज वॉट आर क्रेडिट परचेजेस देन द आंसर इज क्रेडिट परचेजेस आर दोज परचेजेस फॉर डेट बिटवीन पे द कैश वी हैव टेकन इट ऑन क्रेडिट बट लेटर ऑन आफ्टर सम टाइम वी हैव टू पे इट ऑफ ओके दोज आर कॉल्ड क्रेडिट परचेजेस नाउ आफ्टर परचेजेस अवर नेक्स्ट बेस्ट अकाउंटिंग कॉन्सेप्ट कम्स डेट आर सेल्स ओके इफ परचेजेस आर आर इफ परचेजेस आर देयर वी हैव टू सोल्ड आउट समथिंग वी हैव टू सेल वी बाई सेलिंग ओनली वी गेट इनकम द इनकम फ्रॉम वेयर डज इट कम बाय सेलिंग ओनली बाय सेलिंग द रॉ मटेरियल्स बाय सेलिंग द सर्विसेस बाय सेलिंग द गुड्स वी गेट इनकम सेल्स सेल्स आर सेल्स इज ऑल्सो बेसिक अकाउंटिंग टर्म सेल्स आर ऑल्सो ऑफ टू टाइप्स कैश सेल्स क्रेडिट सेल्स कैश सेल्स एंड क्रेडिट सेल्स वट डू यू मीन बाई कैश सेल्स नेचुरली नेचुरली वी हैव टू पे द कैश नो द पर्सन टू होम वी आर सेलिंग द आइटम्स दे हैव टू पे द कैश टू अस अनलाइक परचेजेस इफ यू आर इफ वी आर परचेजिंग वी हैव टू पे इफ वी आर सेलिंग वाई वी शुड पे दे शुड पे इन रिटर्न ओके सो कैश परचेजेस कैश सेल्स रिमेंबर दीज पॉइंट्स After that, our next basic accounting term is our income. What is income? Income is generated by selling. Okay. Actually, the income is the difference between revenue and expenses. Whatever the revenue we are getting and whatever the expenses we are incurring, we have to make the difference in between them. Whatever the amount we are getting, that is income. Income is equal to revenue minus expenses income is equal to revenue minus expenses okay thank you we will continue in the next class